Okay, to make a tool that might just clean out a plug in a holding tank, you need a five foot stick of 3 8 inch plumbing tube. This is a hot or cold uh, my 10 foot stick, 3 8 by 1 half. Here we go. Five foot stick of that. A reducer. This is a three quarter inch female hose thread to three eighths inch inside diameter to put onto the end of the stick and a shutoff valve. With these three things you can clear a lot of pyramid plugs and a few plug tanks if you do it right. In order con to connect the hose end to the pipe, you have to take and soak the first two or three inches of the pipe in boiling water for a minute to soften this up and then just feed the barbed end right on. It will work with a hose jet the same way. Uh, you can get those for a bucket at uh, some of the garden supply stores. Just that little hose jet that screws on the end to build up the stream pressure. But heat this up right here, about the first two or three inches. And Force it into the barb jets and it will not come off. Okay, once you've got it sitting in the hot water for a while, by just holding it in, in boiling water for a little bit, uh, the ones from Home Depot are actually a little bit lighter than the ones from Lowe's and they heat up a little bit either. They're more opaque than this white, but they both work. What you do is take and work it on there, force it on, and once that goes on, it is not coming off. Okay, just feed it right under there, force it on, and uh, it won't come off. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's all done and that will not come off. The hose has enough flex in it to shut all the way down to the bottom of the fifth wheel. Okay, we just cleaned out the, uh, the tank. There was a pyramid plug right here and I'm going to show you how to do it again using the, uh, the system that we've already built. This is a my version of a Johnny Chalk, it's just a pipe. Uh, that hold the, the valve open, put it in there, then we shove this down in, and we know this is going to be about five or six feet down. There's the first bend. Now I've gone down, now I'm in the bottom. I'm all the way in the bottom. Now I would have a hose turned on right here, and you shove that right through the clog, and you have the hose shut off, and then you turn the hose on and off, and slowly draw it back up with the hose on, and for the same reason that the water won't go out, it will not come back up at you because it's going to blow everything away from the opening. And all at once, if this were full of water, you just go rushing right out. And it works like a charm if it hasn't been set up and uh, it's real hard cement type stuff from using the chemicals. So it's just very simple. Just bring it in, find the first bin, pop it down. There's the bottom, pop it. Now it's out into the open tank. You turn the water on. Turn this water on here and slowly draw it back up. You can twist a little bit and make it work and it will clean that tank out and blow it away. So it's called the pyramid plug that's in these things and it'll clean them right up. Okay. We have a plug toilet here. You can see the water standing there. And we're going to try and clear this one with our uh, 3 8 inch pipe, which has the handle we've showed you before. And we're going to shove it right down through there. We're going down through the, the solids. Right there, we reach the bottom. Okay, I'm going to hook up this water hose at water pressure. And we'll come back up in here and turn it on and see if we can get it cleared up. Okay, we're going to be doing this at standard hose pressure. 
and you can see the water down there reflecting back up okay now the fact that the water is not coming back up and the hose is turned on tells me that we're in somewhat of an open tank so if I sit there and just bump it keep then work it back and forth bump on the bottom waters water level is not coming back up so it's going out and into the tank so what we're gonna do is just okay, see it disappearing we're getting it down okay the sludge is in the pipe so we're just making sure that we got it cleaned out at the bottom below it and then when we get to the we'll come up and, and blow the pipe out and you'll hear the water hit when we do it this is a five foot pipe so we're down five foot to the bottom of the toilet okay so all right there it goes a little bit more can't see the water anymore okay, now we're up here now we're filling it back the pipe back up so we came up a little bit too fast so just got to come up slowly to rinse the pipe out because now we, now it's toilet paper stuck in the pipe which I know you can't see but we'll hear okay it's coming back up there so I go down there and I'm down to the bottom of the tank turned down a little bit more and I'm it's we run two minutes and I'm starting to hear it a little bit better it'd be easier if I could do this with two hands but I can't do that and hold the camera so this thing is plugged up pretty good but you just got to come up real slow so you can hear it hear it starting to open Here, I'm gonna pull it up above it and see if we got any. Head's coming out. Our pipe is still got still full a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit more time to got water come all the way back up. So we got a good. It's closing back up on us, which is typical because if you use some of the um, chemicals, they will actually set up in that toilet paper and cause it to get hard. Uh, but the problem right now is right there in that pipe. Uh, it's three three minutes and 23 seconds I'm gonna shut this down and uh, kind of keep track of how long it takes uh, and I'll turn it back on when we get it done I've got to be able to manipulate it a little bit better to twist it okay I just checked the outside the water is flowing clean and clear on the outside but it's still the pipe that is a problem so I'll continue to manipulate the pipe just by twisting it back and forth and back and forth and slowly bring it all the way up to clean the pipe out and it should be good Here's a pretty good indication that the tank is cleared. She's done. It took us about five minutes to make, to get all that to do that. Uh, that was a trip outside. And it was stuck real good. So that's all it takes to get it cleared up. Now it's just running. We're gonna let it run clean for a minute. Fill it up. See what we get out of the other side. I tried to use this size three eighths with the the coils, but I found that it doesn't work because you can't tell when you're at the bottom of the tank and it it doesn't ride up as well. Um, sometimes there's a applications for this, but a pyramid plug works much better with a stiff line where you can put it right down there to the bottom and then shoot it. So this it's possible to do it with this if you know how. Um, but it's not as easy as the stiff one i carry both of them on my truck and uh, just for different damage just uh, for different applications to show people how they can do it uh, later 
water running in it through the pipe and water running in it through the toilet to see if we can clog it or hold it up. We got the valve outside closed, we're filling it up. But the problem was they weren't filling the toilet full of water and it was stacking the paper right down there and the chemicals they were using weren't helping them. They needed to switch over to Tank Tex RX and that would help them enormously in not having that happen because it breaks paper down better.